हाय राहुल हाय अंकित गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर ओके सो राहुल एंड अंकित एज यू पीपल आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन इंडिया हैव रिटन देयर गेट एग्जाम एंड टुडे आल्सो देयर इज अ गेट एग्जाम एंड इट विल बी कंक्लूडेड टुडे इट विल बी कंप्लीट एंड नाउ स्टूडेंट्स लुक फॉरवर्ड टू हैव अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन हायर एजुकेशन लाइक एमएस एमटेक एंड पीएचडी so today our uh, this uh, entire session will be related to you know opportunities uh, uh, for higher education in india and abroad the good thing is like uh, ankit is pursuing his masters from canada uh, rahul you have done your masters from iit kanpur uh, mtech and then you have you are presently doing your doctorate from us and in my case long back i have done my mtech phd from iit delhi so uh, we we can give different perspective to students related to this particular course and uh, first before i come to you rahul and uh, to ankit and uh, start asking about uh, you know opportunities and why we should go for masters in these countries i'll i'll give you the scenario in india which you people are already aware but still let me give you some points when some student writes gate exam now presently then he get opportunity to be in mtech or ms course india mein mtech hota hai ms course hota hai you get scholarship 12500 rupees so Uh, if you get scholarship after gate from premium institutes like iit you end up paying nothing i mean aapko paisa nahi lagta so with scholarship you can manage it uh, neck to neck there is no expenditure and it is two years course mtech and ms maybe 2.5 to 3.5 years course and after a good institutes if they get mtech from good institutes i'll consider um, iits and nits and some uh, more uh, such institutes they get typical package of uh, 10 lakh to uh, 15 lakh in core branches and uh, you know for uh, non core it sector mein agar main bolu to 15 20 lakh rupaye ka package lagta hai ye scenario india mein hai uh, agar aapka uh, acche institute mein ho jata hai and nowadays uh, maybe not even your time nowadays there is a self sponsored programs yesterday i was interacting with the director of it hyderabad it hyderabad gives self sponsored uh, uh, program usme hamara 10 15 15 15 lakh rupaye ke aas pass kharcha aata hai and even if you do not have gate you can land up in those self sponsored courses and you can do your masters and again the salary structure is same and those who do not get uh, mtech and uh, sorry gate score and less gate score is there they land land up in some tier 2 tier 3 colleges uh, private universities or other colleges jahan placement nahi hota so india mein scenario ye hai gate acha hai to iits wagaira mein chale jao nits mein chale jao 10 se 15 lakh rupaye ka aapka package lag sakta hai job lag sakta hai गेट नहीं है सेल्फ स्पॉन्सर में चले जाओ पैसा इन्वेस्ट करो तब भी जॉब लग जाएगा गेट अच्छा नहीं है सेल्फ स्पॉन्सर में भी नहीं जाओगे तो एमटेक का बेनिफिट मेरे हिसाब से नहीं है क्योंकि जॉब उसमें लगना डिफिकल्ट है उन यूनिवर्सिटी से नहीं लगता दिस इज अनेरियो ऑफ इंडिया नाउ बिफोर आई कम टू यू राहुल आई थिंक आई विल स्टार्ट विथ अंकित फर्स्ट अंकित वेंट टू कैनेडा एंड ही डूइंग इज एम एस फ्रॉम कैनेडा we understand that when you go abroad money is invested and ankit was having i know ankit was having opportunity in india also for ms from these good universities i will ask ankit you very straight that if uh, you are to choose india say masters the scenario which i gave and now you are in canada why somebody should go to uh, you know these countries for ms what are the advantages for that why to spend money and then you know go to these countries sure sir so basically you know uh if i have to choose between a masters in canada or basically uh, in abroad as compared to india so i will definitely prefer abroad i know that money is sometimes a constraint but again it's not uh, an ultimate thing and it should not be an obstacle mm -hmm. so the biggest advantage is in india we have seen that you have to give lot of exams and basically your exams is proportional to the university you're getting right so examination ranking is proportional to the university you're getting but this is not the case in abroad so if you have a really good profile a balanced profile you have a chance to get a masters from really really good university and after that you know you will uh, basically develop your skills utilize your masters program in a really good way and then basically you will have a really good career as compared to india mm -hmm. so i think this is the biggest example that you don't have to invest your years in preparing for a exam like gate right because we also have given gate exam and we understand that you know it takes sometimes one year sometimes mm -hmm. two year but ultimately you know if you have a balanced profile uh then basically you should uh, opt for abroad because opportunities are more in abroad as compared to india mm -hmm. so this is my first point mm -hmm. 
and the second point is basically uh, regarding to uh, basically funding so again uh, if you're going for research based program so i think you have a uh, you know big chances of uh, landing uh, mms with funding mm -hmm. and then basically you know it depends on your overall profile though but again uh, if you are applying for a research based programs like ms in research or basically like phd or phd so i truly believe that you have a uh, you know chance of getting funding uh, as well mm -hmm. so ankit uh, to add to your points what you said uh, there is something which is called return on investment when i talk to students from niti bombay or iims or you know those who are going for sponsored self sponsored courses or uh, bids planning and all they says that uh, no doubt we invested 10 lakh 15 lakh 20 lakh we invested mm -hmm. in a education through bank loans or something but that gives you dividend that gives you very good return on investment and i think uh, courses abroad are typical example of that so suppose you invested 20 30 lakh and uh, now you start getting far more than that and you have international exposure and career is good then i think students should try to uh, go for that even if they have opportunities in india that is number one number two if they are aspiring for government jobs or something okay india is a good opportunity you be here and keep preparing for government jobs if if you want that if you want to be in corporate sector or you want to be having very good career i think rahul is the best example who gives us example that i joined caterpillar american company in india it would have been better had i joined the caterpillar in america so we i'll come to that particular discussion also uh, with rahul but if you want to join corporate and if you get to that opportunity uh, from the campuses in some foreign country then that is always a smart move that is what we discussed last time also i discussed with rahul and uh, the main thing which comes to the mind of students is the money which is to be invested for higher education abroad but that is only a mental block because you know you get a loan from the bank and then you uh, return that also and eventually it is a very good uh, uh, you know opportunity for you so that opportunity can be explored and international exposure and all is uh, no match if you go for that and uh, ankit you are a typical example of that particular situation but yes those students as you mentioned who do not qualify or who do not have any other opportunity right now and they are sitting with the mental block that my cgp is less or my gate is not there i need to repeat i need to repeat again i think repetition culture should be stopped you tried you got it no if if you did not get go to some another place and start moving one year is very very you know a valuable thing uh, in your kitty so you should not waste one year uh, start moving and uh, start pursuing your career so even i am against the dropping so i think you should uh, not drop your uh, you know one year and you should pursue the career uh, if you get the opportunity now coming to rahul uh, so your take on this entire discussion now yeah so yeah. if i have to say about us us initial investment is high that is like that is one point student has to spend money but they don't have to spend from their pocket first of all they can get education loan very easily nowadays if you are going to us you have ms opportunity you can get education loan mm -hmm. and it's not a burden on your parents you can self pay that loan once you get the job after your masters so this is the one thing which students have mental block i think there is a lot of money uh, second thing with which students have their, uh, in their mind like what are the salaries which i get once i complete the master so in us this is the culture if you are working in core when i'm saying core it means like you are not doing any research you just did coursework simple coursework not very difficult uh like this is the least one which you can get is like 80 75 to 80 thousand that is in core department like in mechanical if i just do very simple courses on manufacturing something like that i will get 75 to 80 thousand per annum in us okay if you are like hard working you did some work on simulation or you did some work on machine learning and all you learned different type of courses data science you will land up up to 100k per annum this is the job scenario in us which is i think very very high in us if you are earning ten thousand dollar per month it's a very big deal like mm -hmm. purchasing power is very high so it's a very big deal actually mm -hmm. uh this is the second thing third thing when i was in india i was reading research paper when i was doing research for my mtech there are very good research groups very good professors who are working in us because everybody wants to come in us uh, i was always aspiring to work under them but here when i come to us i see like students don't have gate exam 
uh, sometimes they don't have GRE exam even, but they are working with these professors. In India, you can't get that opportunity because only good professors are there in premier institutes, so you'll get good research facility. But in US, it is very easy. You don't have any exam. You can work with these professors, make a very good profile if you want to pursue PhD later on. It's actually very good. And uh, last thing which I discussed, I think, before also, that is the job roles. When you are into job, you are into corporates in US. And when you are in corporate in India, it's like very different thing. In India, it's always you have to make presentations. You have to send that presentation to people who are sitting in US. They are the one who's t- who are taking the decision. In US, you will actually get that job role. So I am observing MS student here. They're getting very different job roles, which I got after my master's in uh, India. So they always have this responsibility. Always Indian and Chinese people are working under them. They are the team leads. They are people who got placement. They are the team leads. So this is, again, very big difference of doing MS from India and abroad. And one thing I think which I forgot to mention, in India, it's always a race to go to the top premier institute like IITs, NITs, then only you will get the career. But in US, it's not like that. And even in Canada, Germany, it's not like that. Mm. Uh, every From every university, you will get the opportunity. So you don't have to target a very high ranking university. Uh, whatever you get, if it is close to industrial hub, you will get very, very good job opportunities. So opportunities are huge, I would say, in US and Canada. Mm. So so yeah. if I'm to now summarize, uh, Rahul, if we are to summarize our entire discussion, what are the most important summary points uh, we can extract from our discussion? So first we start with Ankit. Mm. So, Okay. Yeah. Sure. So, so basically, coming back to uh, back to the point of financial constraints. So, I would say uh, if you talk about its return to investment, so uh, I think the equation is pretty much same. For example, if you are seeking return to investment in India, unless and until you are from IITs or NITs, you have to need a bachelor's or master's from there. Uh, if you talk about MBA, I would say again you have to spend somewhere on 25, 20 to 25 lakhs. So again, you know, why don't you add 10 lakhs more and you get IMS from abroad? Mm-hmm. So I I believe, you know, if you're getting good opportunities, so 10 lakhs is, doesn't really matter a lot, right? Yes, yes. And then again, I would agree with the salary structure in, in abroad. So it's pretty much high. And also job role is entire, entirely different from what mm-hmm. we have seen in, in India. Mm-hmm. So I think the crucial point is, again, you know, if you don't want to write uh, exams like GRE and IELTS and And basically, you have a very balanced profile. So I believe you truly stand a chance of getting a real MS in a really good university. Yes. And you are a typical example of that, Ankit. I know that uh, you got all these opportunities to be in IITs and NITs when you were in India. You prefer that. You prefer to be in Canada and uh, do your master's from there. Now, uh, needless to say, the international exposure you are getting and the kind of opportunities you are going to explore now there will be no match to what you could have got otherwise in India. Over to you, Rahul, and, uh, you know, summary of this. Yeah, so I always summarize in this way, like, uh, if you are a student, there are some things which you can get from experienced person. I always believe in that, talk to some experienced people, because when you are a student, you don't know the overall scenario, like what's happening globally and what's happening in India. So according to your profile, uh, don't waste too much time on gate exam, I would say. Uh, just bring your profile to us. We will evaluate and we can tell you like where are the good opportunities. Uh, ultimately, everyone reaches at the same point. That is like when you are, uh, if you want to be in research, you can work in good institutes. So ev- even if like you can uh, come for PhDs in US or globally good institutes, and if you're working in corporates, then also like if you're going to abroad, starting your career over there, opportunities are huge. So according to your profile, first of all, think like whether you can get IIT or not. If you're not getting, you can explore the opportunities in abroad, which is very, very good. Mm, that's true. So now if I'm to give the points, the points are like this. Okay, if you're getting opportunities in India, you want to pursue good opportunities and you can land up in good jobs, 10 to 15 lakh bracket, good IITs you're getting, NITs you're getting, that is your choice, go for it. But suppose you have not got that opportunity, then explore other opportunities also, options also. Does not make sense nowadays to wait for a year or two years or three years 
to prepare for gate exam and i'll go one step even further i'll say that the dream jobs which students think of in india uh, like you know public sectors and all they're good no doubt about that but similar or better opportunities can be obtained you know when uh, you are in the uh, private domains or corporate sectors and if you pursue your education from abroad so they are equally good opportunities at the end to make a right decision you should have a couple of opportunities and options on the table so if you do not have any option on the table you are only uh, chasing one particular option that may not lead you to a very good uh, you know career domains later on so open the uh, opportunities explore the opportunities and once once you have a couple of things at uh, on in your hand then you can choose the best one and that is how it can be done so that is the summary of our entire discussion and i am very sure uh, on the basis of what we discussed rahul and ankit students who are in the state of making the decision about their higher education they can now uh, you know take a right decision for them and uh, that can land up them in a good position so let me thank you rahul and ankit for this uh, valuable inputs you have given and look forward to interact with you again thank you thank you sir